So fat. Yes, Nick. What are you reading now? Um, I'm getting ready for tomorrow. It's uh, a flying, you know. Uh, fabulous. <laughs> no problem. Welcome to day six of the Aeromagic 2016 Birdsville Odyssey. After a wet day in Longreach yesterday, we were itching to get back into the air once again. With the decision made to abandon our attempts to get to Birdsville this year, we decided instead to head back towards the east coast. With clear blue skies above, we packed our gear, said goodbye to our new besties at the Albert Park Motor Inn, and headed across the road to the Qantas Founders Museum, Longreach's most prominent tourist attraction. With our boarding passes in hand, we followed the crowd towards the impressive display of aircraft in the car park. If you have the slightest interest in aviation, you really have to visit this place. It will give you a whole new perspective on flying. From the old DC-3, through the 707, to the massive jumbo, it is an awesome display of Australian aviation history. Hugh, our guide for the morning, educated us on the finer points of this giant aircraft, including the massive undercarriage that uses tyres that can be retreaded up to nine times, and explained how the massive jet engines produce all that reverse thrust that tries to yank you clean out of your seat before the end of the runway when you land. Then it was up the stairs and into the back of the old 747-200. Housed at the back of the aircraft are the black boxes, which are in fact orange. With much of the cabin trim removed, we could see all of the cables and pipes usually hidden from sight, and even the driver's seat. Dad performed one of his favourite card tricks for Tony, CEO of the museum. Tony was speechless. Then he urgently had to go somewhere else uh, important. Just for fun, we put Dave in a straitjacket and tied him to the wing of the jumbo and dared him to walk to the other end. But the day was getting on and we were out of time so we leapt into it. Then we quickly got all our bags together and bolted for our much more modestly sized plane. They say size doesn't matter but it does when you're paying the fuel bills. Back in the air again, we checked all the fluffy white clouds, looking for all that data that's supposed to be stored in there. Didn't find any though. After a quick detour over the stunning Carnarvon Gorge, we landed at Rolleston, about 550 kilometres northwest of Brisbane. Against another awful outback sunset, we set up camp for the night. We brought our guitars along in case we needed to do some instrument flying, but instead decided to put them to good use around the campfire. Then it was into the swags for a memorable night at the sun underneath the stars. So that was day six. Join us again tomorrow for day seven. So Fab, did you learn how to fly a plane then? No, no, but I learned something very interesting. You see, uh, general flying aviation aircraft in case of your pilot dying or losing the plot. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped the plot, Fab.